What, what, you, what you talking about? <laughs> Feel it with my ass, bud. <laughs> I gotta try it, you know. What's up, EuroLeague fans? Welcome to another episode of A Quarter with Kyle Hines. Today, we have a really great guest, um, one of the most up-and-coming bigs um, in EuroLeague, uh, a rising star, in my opinion, um, from Zalgaris, Merrick Lazarus. Merrick, how's everything, man? Hello there. Thanks for inviting me here. That's a pleasure to be. Uh, everything's fine. Really happy to have a quick chat with you. Oh, man, it's going to be it's going to be good, man. Thank you for uh, thank you again for joining. Now, basketball in Lithuania is almost like a religion, right? So these are just some names. Sabonis, Valanciunas, Yakunis, Elgauskas, Machiunas. Lithuania is known for its bigs. So what would what would it mean for you, you know, to be part, you know, of the history of this 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 look this elite big man club that Lithuania has? That would be great, you know, not only be part of the conversation, but to have a chance to to play together with one of those like Valenciunas or Sabonis, Domantas in national team together, just to see uh, their work ethic and then had a chance to have a chat and have a chance to work out together. That would be awesome. Looking forward to that. But, you know, right now I'm still young. I'm not thinking about that and just trying to get better every day. As a young player, like you just mentioned, you know, trying to get better every day. And you have, you know, some really great examples. Um, you know, Jockey Laverne, who's had, you know, tremendous experience. And and as I mentioned before, Yakunis is one of the, you know, all-time greats um, in your league history. So, you know, what have you been able to, you know, take away um, working with them every every day this year? Probably Joffrey. Joffrey is an amazing guy. His work mm-hmm. ethic is, is crazy. He's been in the NBA. He's been around and you're looking great teams. Jan Kunas stayed in, in Jalgiris as, uh, as long as I can remember. Last year we had Augustin Rubit. Really great guy. A lot of great moves on basketball court. Off court, amazing guy too. So I could go more and more of all those guys we had and all those chances I could get, especially mm-hmm. they trying to get me better. You know, Joffrey just saying something during the game. Hey, Mark, look there. You can, you can go a little bit lower. You can, you can get a step higher. And, you know, those little things, maybe at some point, like, I may be nervous and not listen to them, but then I'm coming home and be like, damn, they're trying to help me. I got I to gotta yeah. be more grateful for that. So just, just trying, you know, to get everything as much as possible. Now, Zagaris is one of the most historical clubs, not only in Lithuania, but all in EuroLeague. You know, it's been one of the most successful clubs. And you mentioned so many great names and players have come through there. What does it mean for you to have the opportunity to play for Zagaris? I think that's uh, the best club in Lithuania for sure. That's every Lithuanian basketball player, young guy, dream at some point, you know, to get to Zagaris to play in EuroLeague at top level in Europe and if you're successful there, you look forward to play somewhere else. But I think that's the top tier club. I think it's uh, in, in conversation to be with organization we have right now, uh, top five in Europe. So that's only good words about that. We talked about a little bit about being nervous. Do you remember your first EuroLeague game? And, you know, what were the circumstances and, you know, were you nervous? I would say I wasn't nervous because it was COVID season okay. and I didn't know I, I, I'm going to get like uh, first minutes there. But I remember it was uh, last quarter in in Maccabi, mm-hmm. uh, coach sub main, uh, I got fouled and I got two free throws. I made them at that moment. I wasn't happy because we were lost by 20 or something and we came to the locker room and we were like sad and everything. But Right after the game, uh, our GM and our assistant coach, Toto the Sabonis, came to me and said, hey, congratulations, man. That's a start for you. Not the best, but it's something, you know. So I wasn't too happy about that, but there were the first people uh, who were next to me and cheered me on. I mean, yeah, that's great. I mean, to, to be able to experience, you know, your league at, at such a young age and to you know, have your your points only only brings that you're going to have, you know, tremendous amount of uh, potential looking forward in the future. Because of the shortened roster this year um, with injuries and COVID, 
um, you elevated your, you know, your time. You know, you were able to play, you know, a lot more minutes. So what was that experience like for you um, to be able to, you know, start some games and not only to like play, you know, at the end of the games or at the end of minutes, but actually get meaningful minutes in Euro League versus, you know, some of the best competition in Europe? What did that mean for you? At the start, it was hard to understand that I'm playing already in EuroLeague. You know, I'm coming against top-tier guys, against EuroLeague legends, against some former NBA guys. So even right now, it's hard to understand what I got during this mm-hmm. season. So much so much uh, game time, so much uh, experience in that. Uh, experience to, to play in full Jalgiris Arena, experience to play, you know, in in some of the best uh, uh, other arenas like Cervena Zvezda, full gym. Well, we just experienced, I hope uh, all those little minutes and all those moves on the course will help me for next year, next season, some of the next games, and it will help, help me to get better, you know. Were you surprised about your immediate success? I mean, obviously, you know, I know you work hard and, you know, everybody wants to be successful, but were you surprised that you were able to have such a, such a great impact, uh, you know, right away? I wasn't surprised. Um, I'm, you know, very, very self-critic. So mm-hmm. I found a lot of problems I could, and, and, and things I could get better on, especially on defense, some offensive things, you know, some tactic things. So, uh, and I have a great assistant coach that helps me every day, is Sabonis' brother. So he, he didn't g- give me any easy minute of, mm-hmm. of the court because we were working on those things I was, you know, missing, especially, you know, on defensive side. So mm-hmm. I wouldn't say I was surprised it went well. I was mad it didn't well, it didn't you know gone perfect. Yeah, I understand. I mean, for perfection is always the key for yeah. you know, for all of us. We're always our uh, our biggest critics. What about your your friends and your family, your parents? You know, like I said, to be such a at a young age, but to be at this you know top level of European basketball with the top club of your of your home country. You know, what are your parents and your friends think, you know, seeing you play out there? Well, you know, my mom always believed in me. So she's saying, oh, you're good. I was believing in you all the time. Uh, so <laughs> she, she, Just like know. our moms always are. Yeah, she was like, <laughs> I knew you were, you will be there. So she was really happy to came to games to be in full gym. You know, some new experience to my friends going hard on me, especially my best friend. Uh, I forgot I have like a little off night. He's just texting me. You gotta work your ass off in a in a in a practice more, especially if him is like two free free throws. You gotta be. Is it hard for you to make a wide open shot? So I have good <laughs> friends. They trying to get me better too. So I'm really happy about that. So you got the balance of both. You got your mom telling yeah. you how great mom, you are. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and you got your I friends got telling friends. you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Last question before we go to the quick shots. Like you say, you're only 19, 20 years old. Um, you know, when you're an old vet like me, um, you know, what, where would you like to say what your, your future goals are? Oof, that's, that's hard to say because, um, well, I would like just uh, to have a great career in Shalgiris a couple of years, a couple of years more. But I wouldn't say that I would like to stay for my whole career. That I would like to experience mm-hmm. some other clubs, meet other guys, meet other coaches to get my back of experience from coaches. I would like maybe to go to NBA if I play good enough to get there. But everything starts from work, so I can, you know, think about it. But it's better to be quiet about that and just put some work and things will happen by itself. Definitely, man. I mean, you have the, you have the right, right approach already. You know, I mean, this, the sky's the limit. Like you said, just put your head down and work and you'll, you'll, get, there when, you'll get there when you need to get there. I appreciate that. Now we're going to go to our quick shot questions. If you can go one-on-one against any Lithuanian big man in the history, who would it be? Sabonis, for sure. Absolutely. Phil will hook my ass, but <laughs> <laughs> I got to try it, you know? <laughs> yeah, man, he's, he's unbelievable. He's one of the ones that you would just, he would just be beating you, but you'd just be still be smiling. Yeah, be like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm happy to be there. <laughs> How did you celebrate signing your first professional contract? I came home. We had a dinner, dinner with family. I think it was Chinese food. And we just have a little chat with, with with my parents, and they just said it's just beginning. And mm-hmm. uh, after my fi- first payroll, I, I I brought some food home. You know, 
Uh, I don't remember if, if it was pizza or something, but uh, it was really nice that I could buy something for my parents. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's, that, I'm sure that was a special moment. And I'm sure your parents yeah. definitely, definitely appreciate that. If you could play pick and roll with any EuroLeague guard in the history of EuroLeague, who would it be? That's a good one. Uh, shot us. No, I, I was expecting that answer. <laughs> <laughs> Can't go wrong with that. Shot us. Exactly. Yeah, uh, those guys just, yeah. uh, just awesome. And I'm gotta, sure make, gotta make a layup. You gotta make a layup. Yeah, exactly. You got the pressure to make it. And I'm sure Dolan Sirens, if you didn't take care of you, would be like, what? What you, what you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Your favorite Euroleague road arena to play in? I had experience to play in Partizan's arena, but not much because I was younger and I was on another team. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that was top tier. And this year it was amazing to be in Serbia as well as the full gym. Perhaps. So I would pick Serbi- Serbian fans if we got to go away from Zalgiris, you know? Yeah, I mean, yeah, Zalgiris is, is amazing, but I mean, if you had to go to another arena, that's it. Yeah, you guys so have a- Serbian as well. Yeah, man, I, agree. I definitely agree. Man, well, I thank you so much for being in the quarter with me. Our, unfortunately, our time has ended in the quarter for this episode, man. But I wish you the best. Um, I wish you tremendous success. Like I said, I mean, I think that the sky's the limit as far as, you know, the potential that you have. Um, keep working hard. Good luck the rest of the season. Um, and we'll talk to you very soon. Thank you very much for having me here. Hoping to see you on the court again. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Your league fans, thank you for tuning in to this, this episode of A Quarter with Kyle Hines. We can't wait to see you and can't wait for you to watch our next episode coming very soon. Thank you.